Next, we'll put all of the internals into our lower. What I like to do is get everything put together and kind of organized out on my, on my mat, um, all the parts that go together, all the small parts. Uh, you're gonna have your takedown pins, two springs and two detents for that. You have two trigger pins, a safety. We're gonna use an ambidextrous safety on our uh, build here. Uh, because multiple people will be using it on the trip and some of them might, may be left-handed. You have a detent spring for the safety and a safety detent. You can identify the difference between your spring detent spring and your safety detent spring. The safety detent spring is a little shorter, but it's also a little stiffer, as you can see there. So three similar springs, two of which are for your takedown and pivot pin. Uh, buffer tube retainer and uh, the spring for that. We're gonna have our magaz uh, bolt catch, a spring and a plunger for the bolt catch and a roll pin to hold the bolt catch in. And then we're going to have our magazine release. Uh, there's the magazine catch, the button, and a spring for that. This I organize all that to make sure I have everything I need before I start. We'll start here with the magazine catch. Simple, drop that in on that side. You roll it over, take your spring, put that over that. And then we're going to thread on the button. So we're gonna tighten that down. Then I like to use something like the detent spring tool here. To hold the button in, be low flush, and then turn the catch. Uh, you want to make sure that you it drilled to where it's not too far, too deep, but it's got to be deep enough. And when you hit function test, push the button and make sure that the magazine catch doesn't fall off the side of the receiver. Next, we'll install the bolt catch. This has got a roll pin. There's two spots here on our bench block that the ears go into that holds that nice and vertical for us. We will take the plunger here and install that onto the spring like so. There's a hole right there. That sets in. Bolt catch comes in from the top just like that. We're gonna need the roll pin starters. We're gonna start the roll pin with our roll pin starter punch. We stick the roll pin down in there. We're gonna bring it over here. We can start it. It has a little dimple on the end that keeps from deforming the roll pin as we drive it in. That's why you wouldn't use just a regular flat punch. We're going to test it, make sure that we're evenly spaced, we're below flush with the roll pin. Everything is moving freely, nicely. Perfect. We'll be putting in our pivot pin and the uh, spring detent for that. This can be tricky, especially if you don't have the proper tools. This uh, is the spring detent install tool. So our pivot pin is the longer of the two pins. It's also got a flat spot machined on the side. It's gonna go into the little receiver just like that. Our spring 
and detent are what keep that pin from just falling out. So we'll take part of the tool here. It has a hole drilled in it. Line that hole up over the spring that we just put in. Use this little punch part of the tool to push that detent in and then roll it 90 degrees. Spring and detent are trapped underneath. We'll take our detent uh, takedown pin here, or sorry, pivot pin, and install. Push that pin right out of the way. So once you get that detent in, you can check it, make sure that the pin's retained, uh, and it'll slide back and forth. Next, we'll install our trigger and our safety. So on the safety, we're going to undo one of the paddles, trigger, all one assembly in this. Sometimes uh, this will be a, in several parts. We have our trigger pins. Trigger's gonna drop down into the housing. We'll take these pins, line them up. They should be able to just push in. Shouldn't take a lot of force there. Safety. And come in from this side. This trigger actually we have to put the safety in before we put that last pin in. So safety's moving as it should. Triggers in as it should be. The other safety paddle on, like so. Secure that paddle, like that. Next, we will install our stock. We have our buffer tube, buffer spring, buffer and the stock. When we're installing our stock, the rear takedown pin is, and spring detent are held in by the stock, by the stock from the back. So we will drop our detent after we put our pin in. Pushing our spring. I like to check and make sure that that's gone in there. It's held, and it is. We have our buffer retainer that goes inside of there. Spring down first, buffer retainer on top. We're gonna hold that down. On the rifle style tube, you go all the way down. On the carbine tube, uh, you do not. You can see that this has a torque spec of around 40 foot pounds. So we'll tighten that using our armor's wrench. Then we will install you stop. As you can see, the spring and detent are, held, are captured right there by that stock. This rifle stock attaches from the, on the back of the buffer tube. We have an end plate that we're going to put there. We have a Allen screw.
Knock that down. Pull our hammer back. Be careful not to hit the trigger and dry fire it at this point. We're gonna put in our buffer spring and our buffer. We'll clear the hammer. And it should be captured by our buffer capture. Last thing that we're gonna install into our lower is going to be our safety spring and detent and our pistol grip. The detent we're going to drop right into the lower there. The spring goes into the grip like so. Then we're going to carefully slide that on there to make sure that our spring goes in there and doesn't get pinched like that. Our grip screw goes right down the center. Nice and tight. This pistol grip has a little floor plate. Last thing we'll do is function test our safety, make sure that it moves back and forth freely and that when it's on safe, the hammer doesn't drop. Uh, when it's on fire, our hammer will release. Make sure that you don't let that hammer just fall. It will damage it. On the Wheeler vice block, there is a stopper here that will allow you to test your trigger pulls or whatever you need. Uh, safely without damaging the firearm. Last thing we have left to do is put the upper and lower together. Start out the front with the pivot pin. Push down our taking pin. Our bolt works. That is a complete rifle.